All right, so starting out with the nature of light. Um, light is a form of radiation. And radiation just means some way that energy and information is transmitted through space as waves that radiate. So radiate just means to, you know, move out, outwards away from a central source. And so for starlight, the source of starlight is the star. Uh, so all of the energy from the star uh, generates the radiation that radiates away. And uh, it's a wave, light is a wave. Um, and similar to water waves or uh, sound waves, it consists of a vibration. Um, but unlike water waves or sound waves, it doesn't require an actual medium to vibrate. So water waves, you know, they, they oscillate in water and sound waves are oscillation in the air. Um, but light waves are not a oscillation within a physical um, substance. However, there is a a medium that we would consider light as traveling through, more or less. And that's what we would call an electromagnetic field. So um, if we take a minute and think about the idea that um, space is uh, something that you can go out and measure quantities in, uh, then we consider that space is um, filled by what we call a field, F-I-E-L-D, a field is something where you can go in different points of space and measure a specific value. So for example, if I go and have a, um, like a hilly landscape and I go and measure the gravity at the top of a tall hill, then the, the gravitational field at that point will be lower than the gravity closer to our, uh, the center of our planet. So the, in a deep valley, the gravity would be stronger. At a tall hill or mountain, the gravity would be slightly weaker. And so if you measured uh, the gravitational field in those two different places, you would say that they have different values. And similarly, there's an electric field and a magnetic field that permeate all of space, and they have different values at different points in space. Um, and what is an electromagnetic wave? Um, that's just when the electric, electric fields and the magnetic fields are oscillating. So instead of the water oscillating to produce a water wave, it's the electric field and magnetic field oscillating together that produces an electromagnetic wave. Um, so this is generated by a moving charged particle. This is what starts off an, ele uh, an electromagnetic, mag can't talk, electromagnetic wave and starts the whole process going. So if you move a charged particle, it creates a changing electric field, which is signified in this image by this um, oscillating red line. And any changing electric field, as James Maxwell found, causes a changing magnetic field, which in turn, that's that blue curve that we're looking at, in turn, that creates more changing electric field and on and on and on. So it's essentially a self-propagating uh, cycle of changing electric and magnetic fields that is all set off by a moving charged particle. Um, for starlight, those charged particles that move are moving around in atoms, um, but we can consider a, a simpler example of what a moving charged particle looks like and how it creates an electromagnetic field. So, so I'll show you the idea here. Um, what we're looking at now is there's a, I guess this is a radio station, an FM radio station. And then on uh, some hill, some distance away, there's a radio receiving antenna. So um, the little balls that are on the, um, the antennae, those are supposed to be electrons, so charged particles that we can oscillate up and down the pole by applying a, um, an electric voltage that varies in time. So if I go ahead and oscillate this charge by just shaking it up and down, then it generates a changing electric field. Uh, it's also the electric field is generating a changing magnetic field, but that's in and out of the page with uh, respect to how we're looking at it. So we're not seeing that. And if I watch what happens as that um, changing electric field reaches the other antenna, then when it finally reaches there, it's going to kind of jostle the electron on that antenna up and down. Just barely, it's kind of hard to make out, um, but it is um, responding to that changing electric field. So this is exactly how um, signals are sent through space. A moving electric charge within a star produces an electromagnetic wave. 
that travels through space until finally it reaches us and jostles some charged particle in our detectors. And that's how we detect that light. All right. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about the origin of starlight when we discuss atoms and spectroscopy during week three.